We want to design a sprinkler system today that will cover our lawn. We want to cover it from at least two different angles, but we want to conserve water so we don't want to be watering driveways or sidewalks or even our neighbor's lawn. So we want to create an optimal design and we're going to let our TI Inspire help us with that. We're going to do a new document and we could use either, it appears that we could use graphs or geometry. Graphs has axis and grid points, geometry has neither. We don't need the axis, but we do need the grid points, so we are going to use graphs. First thing I see is I have an entry line to put in an equation. I'm not going to be using that, so I'll close it by doing control G. Now I need to get rid of my axis. So I'm going to really just hide them. I go to menu two and I'm going to hide my axis. If you noticed right below that in view was the show grid line. And that's what I want. That's why I'm using this procedure. From here, I want to designate my corners. So again, I'm going to go to menu, points and lines, point on, and I'm going to designate my corners, it's two, four, six, eight. Then I'm going to go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. We have eight by sixteen, and this is a scale of one third, so it would actually be twenty four by forty eight. From here, I can go to menu. Since I'm going to pick another tool, I don't have to escape. I can just go here and designate the, menu, the uh, tool I want. And I want a rectangle, so I'll click here. Whoops, I got a circle. My bad. No harm done. Go to Menu, Shapes, and Rectangle. I pick my first point. Come to my second, and then go to my third, and notice my rectangle is complete. From here, I want to go, and I want to put my sprinklers in. My first set of sprinklers, which are going to be using first full circles. I'm going to designate them by points on, two, four. Double click to anchor it, two, four, and two, four. Now I'm ready to ins look at the spray pattern, so I'm going to go to menu, 9, 1, click once at the center, and then once for the circumference, notice it says point on, which indicates it's right where we want it, go from this point, from the sprinkler head, as far out as it will reach, and then from here, here. As you can see, we have most of the lawn covered. However, we don't have it all covered. We still have areas outside of any of the three circles. So this is where my second pattern of spray will come in, and I'm going to use a semicircle. Again, I'm going to designate where I want my sprinkler heads to be, and I'm going to put it right here. The only problem is it says circle. It means I'm on that circle somewhere, which is okay, but not exactly where I want to be. If you notice up at the top right by circle, it says tab. If I push tab, then it goes to rectangle. I don't want it just on the rectangle. I want it on the grid. So I press here, and you have to double click it to anchor it. Come over here, repeat the process. I'm going to move around my circle getting one every place I want a sprinkler head. Don't forget to double click and don't do like I just did. Intersection point is fine because they are going to intersect on that point. But if I go ahead and pick grid on, I get it even better. Now I'm ready to insert my semicircles. 
problem is, if I go to menu, shapes, I do not see a semicircle. So we're going to use a circle, and then we will have to come back and modify it later. I want a semicircle here. I want a semicircle here. 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 Notice how it changes from a pencil to a hand when it reaches the correct placement. By moving it in an organized way, you make sure you don't miss any sprinkler heads and you get them all inserted. Okay, I'm not ready for that right yet, so I am going to escape. Whoop, I missed this one. I need to do this one to here. You see what I'm saying? I almost put it in the wrong place, but by having a pattern, I was able to pick it up, go back, and make the needed correction. Now, as I said before, we don't want to waste water, and at this point we are, because we're watering over here, which is a, is a street, and over here, which is a sidewalk, and this is my one neighbor, and this is other neighbor. If I go back to menu, let's look under points and lines. You see, the last option is a circle arc. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to follow this circle, designating the side where it is on the lawn side as, oop, I missed up. Let's try again. If you mess up, you can do control escape, and that undoes it. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to have to go back and tell it that I am doing circle arcs. Look, number seven, not number nine. It's okay to make mistakes. We all do it, right? So I want number seven. Number nine, and I'm going to point here, and you can see the circle is responding, or is flashing, indicating that's the circle that I'm dealing with. When you reach the end of one of the circles for the arc, you can just double click and start on the next one. Okay. Now I've got the arcs designated for all of the half spray that I want. Now I want to get rid of, I don't actually get rid of it, I just hide my complete circles. And what I'll be left with is a semicircle design pattern. Click on the circles that are outside. Notice once I click on them, they're still there. They just grayed out, which indicates they are hidden. You see the slash of the eye, which means that you cannot see it. And I lost my hide tool, so I'll go back, pick it back up. Click on this circle, this circle, and this circle. Well, the intersection points are somewhat useful, but the ones that indicate the arc really aren't. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to hide those. Now, notice, as I move this around, different things are highlighted. I don't want to hide the circle's arc. I don't want to hide the grid, but I do want to write, hide the point. So when it says point, I click, come to my next point, and I can always hit tab if I move and it doesn't change it to what I want, hide all of my arc points, and I need to unhide this circle because I did not get an arc on it. So go back to menu, 7, 9, and now I'm going to make my arc on this circle.
And now I'm ready to hide. The circle and the point and this point. I'm done with hiding. Whoop, my point is still there. I can see because it is dark. I didn't want to unhide the circle. You see, I hid it by mistake. I mean, the arc, circle arc. So I come back it was a pencil and that will unhide it. And then get this point. Now that I'm done, I can hit escape and I have my pattern. Well, this is pretty good, but I've got some quarter sprayers that I'd like to bring into the picture. I'm going to put them at the corners. So let's go back and do menu, shape, circle, and I'm going to designate it from here to here. Whoop, didn't get it just right, so I hit a, a control escape, and let's do it again. Shape, circle, point to point, point to point, again, point to point, point to point. Once again, I want to designate the part that's on the lawn. This is really wasteful if I don't change this from circle to, sem to quarter circle. So I'm going to go to uh, action, hide. Oop. First, I've got to designate this is an arc, so I need to go to menu, shapes. No, I need to go to menu. Escape, and go to Menu, Points and Lines, Arc Circle, and I want to keep this portion of the circle, this portion of the circle, this portion, this portion, I escape, and I want to hide the circles now. I go to Menu, Action, Hide, click on the circle. Again, notice the word circle is showing. Hit Escape, and my finished pattern is there. I don't want to get rid of my arc indicator, so I'll go back to Menu, Action, Hide, and I want to hide the point. Be sure you're hiding the point and not something that you want to keep. And hit escape, and I have my pattern done. You have the option of going back and hiding the points if you want. From this point, I would do a screen print, take it, enlarge it and then I would have the students cut color using coloring pencils the different shapes. Looking at this I see that I hid something that I didn't mean to. So I'm going to go to menu one hide. If you notice I, do, I hid this circle here. I didn't mean to. So I'm going to put it back and then I need to designate it with an arc. It looks like I forgot to create an arc for it. And so I need not this. I need escape. I need seven, nine. And I need to put my arc on top of my circle. Then I can hide. My circle, and my arc indicator point. Again, hit escape, take another look at it. That looks much better. I've got all the sections.
As I was saying, I would do a printout and enlarge it, distribute it to the students, and have them color the different sections. You could either have them do their own designs or more uh, to the point would have them color, do different colors for the number of times a particular area is covered. Okay.